everyone. I wanted to jump in really quick and do a short video on my newest book. Isn't this a beauty? Uh, it's real cloudy here today, so I had to really pull in a lot of all the studio lights to um, hopefully get away a lot of the shadows. I don't know if I accomplished that or not. So let's jump right into this newest one. Um, it actually started off with... Um, <laughs> to be a really small book and it just kept growing and expanding but that's the beauty of art um you know you can start off with a plant and it go and if you allow it to materialize and uh, take off and strip away the expectations you can really come away sometimes with um things that just really you know kind of takes your breath away and for this piece this is a book that actually um i found in france where i was traveling and it was all beaten up, uh, water stained. It was falling apart. It dated 18, I think 44. I still have the pages. So uh, I had to do a lot of TLC on the cover. You can see. So let's jump right in. Now, the images of the cherubs was actually another picture that I had taken uh, from a statue when I was in France. And if you've uh, followed my art at any point, you probably have heard me talk about, uh, it was this humongous statue, and when I angled my camera up to take the picture, little did I realize in that moment of snapping, like, it felt like a thousand photos of the statue, two birds had landed exactly on the cherubs, um, and the right, um, because they're holding, I know you can't see some of it, they're holding a book. And it was just, talk about a blessing from God. I mean, it was just, it was amazing that I captured this. And so these are uh, my favorite cherubs that I like to use in my art. Um, and so I uh, actually put them in here. And this is canvas um, that came from my travels to overseas. And then some remnant pieces of from jeans. Okay. You can see where the book back here was just really deteriorating. Um, yeah, so let's jump into it. Okay, the name of this book is What If. So if you followed my art at any point, you probably have heard me say many times that I create my pieces based on my own journey, my own thought process, um, experiences, um, you know, trials, challenges, you know, um, expectations, you know, so on and so on, you know, happy moments, things like that. On this one, it was What If. And so when I was thinking about it, let me get off some of those great pieces. It's what if our greatest glory consists not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. So these are things as you look through this book that resonate with me. Um, what if I think, therefore I am. And then underneath I put things, you know, being strong, a difference maker, happy, beautiful, creative, dreamer, believer. And then, <clears throat> what if ne I never lived in the past, but always learned from it? So you can see where I'm going with the what if. It was just thoughts and everything. What if I believed that I was a difference maker? Believed that I could build a better world for the next generation? What if I believed in myself? Okay. And believed when others might not. Okay. And then just a lot of different yummy papers that I stuck in here. Okay, this world is but a canvas to our imagination. So this was a piece of paper that was really, really old. Um, I'd have to go back and see if I could. Sometimes I try to write down when I'm using pieces, but it's 1844, I think. I think that one's 1844. I have to, well, no, I think it's 19, because over here it says 1917. Okay. Oh, wait. That's two different pieces. That was the car, um, a postcard, 1917. The paper would be 18. Okay, sweet. Um, <clears throat> this was actually the insert to the book itself when you opened it. So I incorporated it into here. Believe in your dreams. Okay. I'm trying to see. And then sometimes on the way to our dreams, we get lost and find a better one. Okay. Um, here is pieces from a photo. Um, I took this when I was over traveling through France off of different buildings. Okay. If you want your story to be magnificent, begin by realizing you are the author and every day is a new page. Okay. 
And then <clears throat> I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. And different pages that I stained and painted. And uh, it just leaves it open to do so much on all of these pages if you choose to. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to decide what I want to write right here. These words haven't come to me yet. Okay. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. Okay, old paper. Okay, life is a journey. Stay true to your path and you will surely find the treasure you seek. Now, this actually is a print, a copy from a big painting. This was a bigger painting that I did. Okay, so then we turn this page. Life is a song, sing it. Each morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. This is a copy from a big painting on a canvas that I did. Okay, an old envelope that dated 1921, and then you come back here, just a few more blank pages, and in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years, and then you come to the back. How sweet is that? So whether you leave this piece, this book, as a piece of art itself, which a lot of my customers do, or you choose to jump in it and start putting your thoughts, your visions, your experiences, whatever it is, pictures, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> that's what I like about when I create books. Um, it, the possibility is endless. Okay. So I just wanted to show you really quick um, this newest one that I created and uh, thank you guys for taking some time to view it. Okay. Bye.